I went to the hardware store and bought this uh, duct piping for ventilation, but uh, since it's really shiny, you can actually use it as a reflector. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this and bend it down because we don't need it to be that round. So now it's nice and, and flatter than it was before. So now what I'm going to do is take this razor blade and uh, if you're if you're a child, just make sure a parent's watching you when you're using a razor blade. And so I've made two different holes for where I'm going to put my light sockets. So I'm going to make two cuts right here. Okay, so now that you have um, two different holes that you've made with a razor blade, you uh, what you do is you cut out an X and you, you push in the holes. And that's what I did here as you can see. So I made two different holes, one right here and one right here. So now that that's done, <clears throat> we are going to have two light sockets. Just like this, they have a eight and a half foot cord, but you can either go longer or shorter, uh, however you feel is necessary for length. Um, so we have these eight foot cords right here, and what we're gonna do with them, put one of the cords in here. So now that you have two different light sockets in this duct pipe, what we're gonna do now is grab our lights. Now I chose four lights. You can use two. Um, two might be easier if you're a new grower. Um, but um, there's two light sockets here, so that'll hold two. The only problem is I bought four lights, so what I did was buy some Y. Now with these Y adapters, as you can see here, you'll take one of them and put it in this light socket right here. So now I have two right here, two light sockets right here, and two right here. So now I have four in all. The thing that I should say about these lights is, if you go to buy just two lights, make sure one is red and one is blue. That way, um, when you're growing your plants, you have good stem growth as well as leaf and flowering growth. So um, now what we're going to do is, if you have four lights, you're going to want to buy two reds and two blues. So here's your, here's your light now. I got mine online, but uh, you can you can get any light at any hardware store such as Home Depot, Menards, etc., etc. Um, I chose 300 watt CFLs. Now you don't have to go that high if you're planning on just doing smaller smaller amounts of plants. But since I'm growing a lot of plants, I want to have bigger lights so I have more area that's covered with light. Now I have my other blue light. That one is going to go right here on the other side. Not in the front, where the, this blue one is, but in the back on the other side. So now you have your red bulb, and you're thinking, where should I put this now? There's two different spots. Pretty easy. You just put this one next to the blue one. So here's your fourth one. You just put that right in the fourth socket. Now we have all four of our lights here. You got the blue ones, and you have the red ones. Now if you flip this over, you have a nice grow light. And you turn it on, and there's your grow light. Thanks for watching, guys.